Hi everyone, Charles Wilkinson from Argo Yachting and we're here at the Dusseldorf Boat Show and we've got this absolutely gorgeous Galleon 560 flybridge here with us as one of our uh, one of four boats. This boat is for sale, it's in stock and it's coming to England after the show but we'd love to show you this boat, do a walk through and show you everything it's got to offer. So we'll start just here while you're at the stern. We've obviously got a hydraulic high-low bathing platform. This can house uh, a jet tender or a jet ski um, or a normal tender obviously and it's got a 500 kilo loading capacity. Got a really cool folding bench uh, aft seat just here with a magnetic latch so it does stow away really nicely. And then we've got the hatch here. This boat is specced with the uh, skipper cabin so we do have one berth with a sink, microwave, fridge uh, and an ensuite as well and you've got a great access through to the engine room which you can just see from here. We'll talk about the engines when we get to the helm in a second. So this boat is the one of the new Galleon designs. It was released in 2023 so it's got awesome hull windows which we'll see again in the cabins below. It lets in so much light. It's very unique the, uh, this model line. So into the cockpit. I even love these massive stainless steel cleats. Incredibly solid. Galleon fabricate all of their stainless steel, um, so their quality control is excellent. And the most noticeable thing is the folding balconies, or bulwarks if you want to get technical. Galleons are seriously well known for that. Uh, they were the first boat builders to actually bring that into the market. You can see what kind of space it gives to the whole cockpit. Uh, we've obviously got a really safe guardrail, which is really easy to take out, remove the rope, it takes five minutes to put them away. Got this even really nice glass window below me. It's got a non-skid as well. So it's nice and safe, but that just lets loads of light through. You can see the sea, seriously nice. If you're at anchor, you just completely turn the boat into a beach club, effectively. It's just incredible. And then of course, we've got these game, this game changer just here, a bar. And we're on the port side, obviously, on the starboard side, it's a different feature, but this is just a game changer. When you can turn this into a, you know, an interactive galley, serve drinks, walk around, you've got a nice sofa. It's just unbelievable. The door obviously you can drop the bar and you can close the window when you leave the boat but it only takes five or ten minutes we do this every morning at the boat show it's so fast um, it's just absolute game changer so if you follow me back to the cockpit obviously we've got this crew door up at the moment but we do have a, a vast seating area that wraps around one thing that is very noticeable on this boat it only has one staircase into the cockpit for good reason we have a really nice sofa that wraps around it just gives you a lot more space uh, one thing that both balconies have are these side boarding gates really useful obviously when you're in port we do have these uh, really clever bifolding doors a lot of boats just have patio doors that kind of go in, uh, overlap each other but the galleon have done a design where they completely shut all the way to the side it's incredible just opens up the whole space as you can see it the flow into um, the saloon is just awesome. Uh, you have to bear with us. This is very busy boat show at the moment, so we may come across a few people. So, <laughs> um, so starboard side, like we showed on the port side, the bar, the starboard side, again, the window fully opens. And right now we've just got a nice normal seating area where you can enjoy a drink, people are cooking, really interactive. And then obviously these seats as well fold out really easily. You can extend this table. And like you can see, you can just, when the balcony's down, you're enjoying the sun, everyone's having a drink either side at the, at the cockpit. It's just super flexible and versatile. And that's why galleon is so good. So into the galley, I really love this, how this exposed fridge, normally you've got the wooden cover over it, but I love how it's exposed metal, fridge freezer, kind of American style. And obviously you've got these drawers underneath as well, top loading, really nice. And then galley, of course, I love this countertop on these galleons. Again, lots of options, um, but this is kind of like an Avonite resin. Really nice, looks super cool. Induction hob, Siemens, and a Siemens uh, uh, oven as well, just below. And we have a dishwasher just here. And then we're up into the main area of the saloon. Really lovely, big dining table that's kind of angled to suit the walkway. It drops down as well when you could put an infill uh, if you wanted to turn it into kind of like a large extra bed if you needed to. Sofa opposite with a rising television. But yeah, loads of windows, loads of light. Um, it's just a seriously well fitted boat. Lovely carpet, Alcantara everywhere. It's really, really nice. And then up to the helm. Um, 
like I said, this boat was released fairly recently. So it's part of the new like pod design of the console. It's very, very sleekly designed, has a metallic paint even behind it. But yeah, all the finishing is just here, really solid, really well put together and a very clean dashboard, a glass bridge, as well as no kind of typical carling switches. You've got these really nice stainless steel buttons. We've got a um, uh, hold Sleipner um, thrusters, either uh, both ends. So bow and stern thruster with the hold function. Uh, people are getting quite familiar with those, but yeah, just so useful to have on this boat. And of course the engines were equipped with the Volvo Penta D13 900 horsepower each side. That's the uh, top engine spec on this boat. You have four engine options. This boat's capable of doing, well, just under 31 knots. We got it to 30.7 knots. Uh, really good performance. You're kind of looking at about 100 litres a side on fuel, roughly, um, depending on your cruising speed, of course. But yeah, really good engines. This boat handles great. We brought it up here, so really, really good. Uh, we, of course, have a Sea Keeper. That's a high spec on this boat, so very important. Keeps a nice, smooth ride. And I even like this really funky helm station light underneath, as well as the red light above. You can have that as well, so it's not glaring at night when you're making passage. It's really, really cool. Uh, we can fit... Uh, docking cameras if you want to but um yeah really good bridge tall windscreen as well i'm 6'4 a lot of boats <laughs> you have to kind of kneel down a bit to look out but i could i can physically stand here and look and drive the boat that is very noticeable so helm door to the side if i'm maneuvering the boat i can have a peek outside look over the side really easy So we're now in the lower accommodation. Uh, we'll go into the master cabin in a second, which is absolutely incredible. But right now in front of me, so three cabin layout, like I said, with a skipper cabin at the aft end. We've got the VIP cabin forward, which you can see, beautifully lit, really nice island, island bed, which is actually quite low down. So it's super sleek, easy to get onto. Um, we've even got a makeup table with a, a swing stainless steel seat that swings out. But one of the most noticeable thing uh, on this boat are the windows. Outside is obviously a big statement, but inside, there's no other boat like it. Um, in the olden days, you'd have small portholes if you're lucky in each cabin. Now it's, you know, it's so much glass, it's incredible. But yeah, great island berth forward, even the deck lights from uh, in the bow, very good space. And Jack and Jill entrance, double entrance into the day head just here, which is very generous, lots of glass. You want to make sure the blinds are closed when you're using that bathroom at night, for sure. <laughs> the twin cabin on the starboard side, again, fantastic glass windows. Um, and the beds actually come together on a rail track so you can turn that into double so you can have three double berths on this boat which is fantastic but just to take note of the finishing down here we've got Alcantara suede with this beautiful wood inlay uh, and just the door handles magnetic latches it feels incredibly solid and well made and plush I think the word is opulent really down here but if you follow me down into the master cabin of course full beam uh, and we've got these beautiful windows Lots of people are looking at us outside, admiring them. That's how good they are. Um, but yeah, what a fantastic space. Low bed, lots of LED lighting everywhere. Even all this finishing behind here. It's absolutely beautiful woodwork with materials. Uh, but yeah, lots of storage uh, on the starboard side as well. And we even have this kind of breakfast table, email, work desk, um, which is great. But yeah, fantastic view in the morning if you're having a cup of coffee. Big TV. But yeah, again, the finishings. Top to toe, Alcantara. It's absolutely beautiful with all this lovely LED strip lighting and massive TV, like I said. And then, of course, we've got the ensuite just here. Lovely basins. All the faucets are really nice. Mirrors, plenty of light. And yeah, bench seat in the, bar, in the shower. It's absolutely beautiful. Very well finished. If you haven't done already please subscribe to our channel and also turn on the notification bell so you get alerted each time we upload any video not just broker walkthroughs and if you can like the video it really helps our channel as well so joining me up on this flybridge it is absolutely awesome up here it's such a good space lots of cool lighting seating tables but one thing i want to show you is the actual lighting arrangement so now we've got it all on white if i press blue it doesn't just do it underneath the furniture and underneath the bars. It's actually up on the deck heads as well, as well as the white. It looks so nice, but um, let's just keep it white for the moment. But yeah, what a great space. We'll go forward a bit. So right at the helm, obviously, we've got uh, the helm position up here, leaning to starboard side again. So really easy to look down the side. Um, but yeah, equally, we can put a camera on this boat. Not a problem. Thrusters, screens, everything's here. Really nice dash and a very comfortable helm seat as well. 
nice bench seat just to the left, which is, yeah, it's just good just to have everyone facing the big table, which transforms. These also maneuver. If I put both of these seats and they're absolutely sturdy. I mean, when you're maneuvering these things, they don't shake and rattle. They are so solid and well put together. And then we'll transform this table and you can see what happens there. Everything surrounds this huge table, just like downstairs um, in the saloon. So you've got two really large dining tables. Above me, we've got this big hardtop roof. That's actually standard on this Galleon 560 flyer bridge. Uh, it's uh, part of the actual superstructure, so it just helps the, the rigidity of uh, the actual boat. So a lot of boats, you have to pay a lot more to have uh, that roof, but yeah, it's, it's part of it, which is great. Absolutely love this upholstery finish on here with the kind of brown piping, it's really lovely. And then, of course, we've got wet galley arrangement. These are actually locked with buttons, which is great, because they can uh, bang. But yeah, top loading, ice box, fridge, put loads of ice in there, loads of drinks, griddle, barbecue. There's a button here as well. On a hydraulic gas strut, really nice sink. Fridge just here. And then an ice maker just underneath here, which is very important to keep your drinks cool. And then there's open space. It's really good that they kept it open actually because right now we have sunbeds obviously, but if you have bicycles, paddle boards, kayaks, yoga mats, bean bags, loads of things you can put up here. People love paddle boards in, in general. You don't want to put them down the side of the boat. So here is a fantastic space to put them. But yeah, equally the sunbeds. You could put these even on the folding balconies downstairs. There's just so much you can do with this boat. Very, very versatile. And I even love this kind of glass is a super yacht finish and there's and it's even illuminated you can have it, have it white or blue depending on which light you choose but right now it's white so at, at night time this boat looks really really good stands out but that's pretty much here on the flybridge let's go back down so we just go outside the helm door and go to the fore deck so on the bow, we've got kind of a Portuguese arrangement. So what that means is we've got a nice bench seat as well as a sun worshiping cushion on the, on the actual bow. And of course, these go up and down. There's even a, a backrest just here. So we can enjoy a drink together. Cup holders, really important. But just this fabric, the upholstery is super nice. It's very, very well finished. And these are the, the deck lights that go down into the VIP cabin, which we showed earlier. And what I love are the gunnels on this boat, really high, it gives that kind of super yacht feel and these beautiful LED lights all the way throughout. It's just super nice finish. It is really, really well done. But that concludes the walkthrough tour here on this Galleon 560 flybridge. Like I said, this is a brand new boat that's available for this season. Uh, so if you're interested in this specific boat, please let us know. We'd love to show you the boat, love to have a coffee with you uh, in uh, Southampton where this boat probably will go um, in the UK. But yeah, it's available now and uh, we'd love to meet you. Thank you. <laughs>